Hit Film Sensei here. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to create a lightsaber blade effect for your static lightsaber. So we're going to start by importing some footage and the footage I'm going to use is a five second shot of me holding a cheesy lightsaber prop with a um, rod dowel in it about four feet long uh, and it'll do just fine. Uh, the rod dowel has two pieces of green tape here uh, as to act as markers as to where the end of the blade are. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this into a composite shot. I'll right click and select make composite shot. Click OK. And now it creates its own composite shot timeline under its own tab. You can always go back to the editor and everything that we do in this composite shot will be reflected here in the editor as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by tracking these two points where the lightsaber begins and ends. So if we right click on the arrow here, we go to tracks and click the little plus button. Now we're going to create a tracker point and I'm going to rename that tracker point Hilt. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my mouse wheel to zoom in here a little bit. I'm going to grab that tracker point and drag it so it's directly over the point that marks where the hilt is and then I'm going to hit the arrow key to start the tracking process. It's going to scrub through and track every single frame is exactly where that piece of tape is in there. And it's a good track. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another track and this time I'm going to call it tip. And we're going to track the tip of it. I'm going to use my right click and slide the picture over so that I can see where the tip is and then left click and drag this over here and put that on the very tip and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to track it push frame for frame and make sure that we get every single one perfectly in alignment and it's a beautiful track so it shouldn't be any problem at all. Okay now the, believe it or not that was actually the hard part. From here what we're going to do is we're going to create a couple of new point layers so I'm going to click on the new layer and point. You could also use Control alt p and that creates a point layer. We're going to go back over the viewer so we can actually see everything here. Uh, and I'm going to rename that one tip and then I'm going to create another layer point layer and we're going to call that one uh, hilt. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the tracking footage from each of these tracks and we're going to transform it to that. So on the hilt we're going to transform it to the hilt point and click apply and then on the tip we're going to transform it to the tip point and click apply again. So now if we were to highlight both of those and I just shift and click both of those, you can see that those are both there and they're both tracked onto the edges of where the lightsaber blade needs to be. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add our lightsaber effect. We're going to start by creating a new plane layer that we're going to put the lightsaber on and I'm going to rename that blade. Make sure that it's black. That's important. Uh, now you can see that that black plane has covered everything else up. So in the control panel under layer properties blend mode we're going to change that from normal to screen mode and what that does is it just says see through the black part and only put what we want uh, on the screen and we're going to go up and search for the laser sword effect it's going to be light sword two point auto we're going to drag it onto that plane and there's our beautiful light sword now this is the beginning and this is the end we're going to take this and we're going to attach it to there we're going to take this one and attach it to there we're going to do that by starting hilt and position we're going to say attached to the hilt and there it is and then under tip we're going to say attached to the tip and oh wait it's actually about 200 pixels higher and the reason is because under position for the hilt it's zeroed out but under position for the tip it's 200 pixels higher on the y-axis so we just have to zero that out and now it looks good okay, now this is a little bit narrow uh, it's kind of a skinny blade for this particular shot so the width category here under hilt if I just drag that number over to say about 30 yeah, about 30 then you have a nice width of the lightsaber and maybe the width of the tip a little bit less maybe 22 or so uh, somewhere in that range looks pretty good now you can still see those um, points and the reason is because uh, the core is not a pure white core and it doesn't really matter what color you want the lightsaber blade to be you want the core to be white okay uh, whether the lightsaber blade itself is going to be red the glow the inner glow here is going to be red or blue or green or whatever it doesn't matter okay so basically that's it 
in a nutshell, that's how you make a lightsaber blade. Uh, and all the rest of it's just details, you know, in terms of, you know, what I want. And remember that everything that we did in this composite shot automatically transfers out here into the editor timeline. So you get the exact same look there. And then you can keep adding your other shots as you go along. So any questions about how to put a lightsaber blade on a very static or non-moving uh, prop? Uh, feel free to put them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. And otherwise, thanks for watching.